Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimatter Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 8. And you can see I can get 3 E9 Eternity Points, it's just enough to get the Eternity Point Multiplier, and it is time to respec the Time Study Tree once more. So let's go here, with just with the standard stuff, let's go Infinity Dimensions, and basically the goal is to get this time study while I am while I have the infinity dimension path. This is gonna this is gonna be it's gonna be quite powerful. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the rest of my eternity points on something on time dimensions. I could get the one other time study that does make the things that does make the eternity runs a little bit quicker. Or not the eternity runs, the infinity runs a little bit quicker. I could actually just use hotkeys to get to where I want to get. Moving the mouse is quicker I, sometimes. Actually, the hotkeys are quicker. I'm just not used to them because they're new for the reality update. So, okay, let's see Let's see how far I can get. I should be able to get quite far with this build. I could do one more eternity here at a little bit higher. This keeps this still at 50 times. I can get the additional time theorem to get this, which is nice. I might even, no, I'm not quite, I don't quite have enough to get this upgrade. So now it is just, let's, we'll just see how powerful this is. So it looks like I'm easily able to get this time study. If I can get four, I can get this study, but I'm not really quite sure about that. I'm probably just going to do an eternity run to get the time study, because it looks like if I, if I can get this, that that's going to get me pretty far with this infinity dimension path. I, I can get E2000 infinity points and even E400,000 antimatter, but I think it is just better just do one eternity run or just get some eternity points so I can get um, the two additional studies to get this and then we can spend everything else on time dimensions. Um, for whatever reason, these this number is smaller. I don't know why. There's a lot of space for it, but I, I'm not the one that makes the UI, so I, I it makes no sense. Anyway, let's just do the eternity run so we can get back to 50 times multiplier and times study 121. And I think we have enough here. So now I'm actually going to change this to E150 because I think that I'm actually... Like, th this at E100 is actually slowing things down, at least in the beginning. So, so now, yeah, I just wait once again to see how fast or how much antimatter and infinity points I can get. Hopefully get some time theorems with that. So it looks like I'm actually able to get quite far, like get multiple time studies from this. I'm still gaining, like, a good amount of a, a orders of magnitude and infinity points every single run. And... I'm able to I'm able to get two time studies for this and two from antimatter as well. I could even I, pro I can probably even get the E440,000 antimatter time study. This is putting pushing me very close to the 1 E4 times multiplier in all time dimensions, especially if I go get the eternity points here. I'm able to get E11. I'm not really sure I'm not going to be able to get the next upgrade. So I, I kind of want to get this, but the thing is that 151 beckons me because it's just such a powerful time study. So uh, I'm so close to E440,000 antimatter. I want, I want to at least get that time theorem. How close am I to the galaxy? I'm actually pretty close. So I think one more crunch and I'll be able to get another galaxy, which will hopefully push my antimatter to just enough. Also, E2295 is going to give me another two replicated galaxies. So I kind of just want to push. Maybe even get the E2300 infinity point time theorem. Yeah, there's E440,000 antimatter, and I'm also just very close to the E2300 infinity point one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that one as well. And there it is. With the two extra replicated galaxies, I'm able to get 
quite a bit farther than E2300 Infinity Points and get one more Time Theorem. So I think now's a good time to Eternity. I can't quite get the next Eternity upgrade, which is a little annoying, but it's fine. Because we can get this Time Study. Just gonna be it's just gonna be so powerful. I can I can again spend the rest of my eternity points buying random time dimension things. Maybe this actually wasn't good because the last one nerfed my infinity dimensions by like a hundred times. So I'm actually gonna do another round of eternities just to get back up to a semi decent amount of eternity points. So it already looks like we're able to get really far. I'm already up to E2280 infinity points. And I'm still getting like like well over 50 orders of magnitude of infinity points every single run. So I'm probably going to be able to get all the way up to E2500 infinity points. Not quite enough for 161 and 162, but that's okay. Because especially once I do an etern Eternity, I'm going to be able to get an Eternity Point Multiplier, which will give me enough... I'll, I'll get an Eternity Point Multiplier and some Time Theorems. So it looks like this is about as far as I can push. I'm so close to E500,000 Antimatter. And I'm also pretty close to, to E2600 Infinity Points, but... The thing is, I don't know if I can get any galaxies before it. I'll get these time studies, or time theorems. I don't really want to spend it on this, because it's pretty weak compared to what I'm going to get with seven time theorems with 161 and 162. So I'm just going to wait for E500,000 antimatter, just for the last time theorem, and then eternity. Get this upgrade, get two more time theorems. So I can get this, and at this point, I could, I don't know if I can get, let's see, 7, 1.4, 2.8. I'm not able to get enough to get this time study yet, so I'm just going to go with, with what I have now and spend the rest on time dimensions, and then, of course, get 10 eternities, so I can quickly, I can get to that 50 times eternity point multiplier and then get back to hopefully even more infinity points in antimatter than before so it looks like this is about as far as i can get e2700 infinity points it's enough for three time theorems could get this but again 162 is a better time study so i'm going to eternity get enough time theorems to get this time study and then spend all the rest on more time dimensions so actually something i could do maybe instead of doing time dimensions i have an idea what if i go with the normal dimension path and then go for time study 171 this is very powerful so I, I'm, I'm gonna do that normal dimensions and then go active and then only get one of these and have just enough to get this. I also have enough to get to get this time study as well. So I'll pick it up and then spend all the rest of the eternity points on time dimensions. And then I'm gonna do my three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten eternities. So I can get this to 50 times and then See how powerful this is. This 171 looks like a very powerful time study because it's basically making time dimensions give like 25% more tick speed upgrades, which I think is like more powerful. It's like at least as powerful as time study 151, which was very powerful to begin with. Well, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get anywhere with this. This looked good, but the infinity dimension path is just too powerful now for me to ignore. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go infinity dimension. Just do the thing I was originally planning. My idea wasn't very effective. 
So I could try to get five time theorems for this, but that, that's not going to happen at this point. Instead, it's better to just go for something like this, and even this time study, and then just do my 10 eternity runs to get all the way, or get the multiplier to 50 times, because I always have to do that, because active path sucks sometimes. It is still better than idle path, though, at least if I'm trying to do things quickly. I can also pick up one more of these upgrades, so I will do that. I might have tried to go for the time theorem, but I don't. This is a very weak time study. This is good, but I think I'll be able to get the antimatter and infinity points first. So it looks like I can get all the way past E2800 infinity points, and a lot of antimatter get this study. So this will this will make things just a little bit quicker. Because the replicated galaxies, I can now get 43 of them, and it's even at 2 per second, it still feels maddeningly slow, unfortunately. And that's just something I kind of have to deal with. I get a couple more time theorems by getting E560,000 antimatter and E2900 infinity points. And, but we're not quite getting all the way to 171 anytime soon, unfortunately. I'm probably just going to get the E2900 infinity points and then eternity because I can get the next eternity upgrade. So here we go. One more time theorem and then I'm going to eternity and get this upgrade. So yeah, I feel like this is a good point to end the episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.